jump into action. Pay close attention here as I bring this home. There's two reasons. Number one, you feel silly or ridiculous. It's hard. Vulnerability is tough for a young person. It's tough for an educator, an old person. It's hard to look different, to look silly. But y'all didn't realize that's why superheroes wear tights. They don't have to wear tights to run into public, them silly costumes, but they do. It's vulnerability training. But let me tell you, educators, the real reason kids don't jump into action. Now, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but it's just the truth. We never taught them what to do. We've never truly taught them what to do. I'll prove it to you, educators. Students, all at once, as loud as you can, what do you do when you catch on fire? Fire Educators, have you ever met a single human that's ever used that before today? Now think about that, educators. We've taught 50 million public school students what to do when they never catch on fire. I walk up to any kid in North America and I say, hey, what do you do when you see someone not being treated the right way? They look at you and they say, uh, tell the teacher. What you're not going to do. That code says you're not allowed to do that. We never really taught them what to do. All right, students, here we are with our last video on jumping into action. And hopefully you had a really good, deep discussion on the difficulties of actually jumping into action. But now we want to get into the two reasons kids don't jump into action. Number one, they feel silly or ridiculous. I always tell people, I say, didn't you know that's why superheroes wear tights? Because it's tough to jump into action. They're going to look silly, ridiculous, helping kids that can't help themselves. And number two, they don't know what to do. Now this can sometimes be a little bit of insulting for a teacher because they tell kids all the time, or they tell me all the time, that I tell my kids to stick up for kids that are different all the time, but I'm very clear to gently point out that that's telling kids and not showing them. So they need two things, Coach. What is it that relate to these two? I think it's all about vulnerability, that feeling that's weird or awkward or uncomfortable that you have to resist is called vulnerability. And when you get good at that, it's actually vulnerability is bravery. Uh, the second part is being trained and practicing that. That's your strategy. So it's all about vulnerability and strategy. That's right. And we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes about that practice and how important it is and, and the strategies that we're going to leave you with so you can have good discussions about that. But right now, we want to have a good discussion about this word vulnerability. What does it mean to you? Because as you go around the circle, you'll see most people will associate vulnerability with weakness. But I like what you just pointed out, that it really is courage and strength. And number two, Talk about the strategies that maybe you learned in this presentation and some of the things that you didn't know or some of the things that you came up with just watching. So there you go, get in your circle. We wanna talk strategy and vulnerability.